As we neared our next stop, it became evident why the Tawas area has gained its reputation as one of Michigan's more popular tourism and recreation destinations, not to mention nicknames such as the Gateway to the Sunrise Side, Cities by the Bay, and even Cape Cod of the Midwest. When we reached Tawas, Heidi suggested a break at the Tawas City Park, which provides an interesting view and a look at things still to come. Well, Heidi, you brought us down to this beautiful little park here that's right on the water. Gorgeous place to stop and take a little bit of a break. I also see we have a map here. Now, is this the bike trail that we're on? It is. We started here in Alabaster and working our way up to you are here in Tawas City at the city park. And we're going to continue on to East Tawas and take a stop at uh, Newman Street Okay. and the city dock. And eventually we're going to make our way out to Tawas Point today. Okay, and we mentioned being at the Tawas Bay area, and this is Tawas Bay here. You can see it's just a part of actually Saginaw Bay that's down in here. So we actually started here, and we're going to go all the way around to this point out here to the state park. So that, that's a nice little run, and we are, oh, you are here. Okay, <laughs> even I can figure this one out. <laughs> hey, they got a little pier here. You want to drive out there too? Let's take a look and see what's all right. going on. Good. The focal point of the Tawas City Park is this 450-foot long pier that extends out into Tawas Bay. It's a popular spot with fishermen as well as bicyclists, walkers, and even passing motorists. Whether you're looking for a spot to see what's happening on the bay, enjoy a good read, or maybe just relax a bit and let the breeze hit you in the face, it's a great spot. Besides the facilities it provides and the many events it hosts, including the farmer's market, arts and craft shows on Memorial Day and Labor Day weekends, and 10 straight days in July with the week-long Freedom Festival, including the 4th of July fireworks, kite festival, and many more activities commencing with Summerfest. Combined with the adjacent Town Square Park, which the city developed in the 90s after acquiring two former gas station properties, and an additional park known as the Gateway Park at the mouth of the river, this string of three contiguous city parks offers more than a quarter mile of lakefront for public recreational use. 